Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to our final hour of the Tuesday of Dungeoneering. I hope you're ready, because I sure as heck am. And I'm thinking that maybe, just maybe, just maybe, we should go ahead and try one of these level 3 missions first. Because uh, these final ones over here in the Pirate's Land are really just a pain in the butt. Like, on the real, real pain in the butt. So let's see what uh, the Mind Troll has to offer. <clears throat> we can disrupt the mining operation by going tools down. And as we have very well noted, um, Noble is in fact next. And Noble has called his shot by saying that he will in fact achieve victory if and only if he is playing as the most holy grail knight. And so I'm going to give him the chance to prove himself once again. We have Retribution, which means if you take three or more damage in a turn, we deal one magic damage back, and a whole buttload of attacks that actually heal us back up, including a, a one that actually heals and hurts at the same time for some reason. Fervor, uh, Absolution, Divine Hammer, Divine Hammer, and Divine Strike. So we're looking pretty decent. We don't have a lot of magic damage, but we're looking pretty good as far as being able to keep ourselves <sighs> vitalized. Unfortunately, hard, yeah, it's okay. We'll get, I mean... Harwood, there's always another place for Harwood. Don't you worry about that. You let me worry about that. And so, most holy grail knight, are you ready? You better be ready. You're going into tools down to disrupt this mining operation. And what shall we find below? A miner with fury and leader. Hmm. Okay. So we can't surround them by any other minions, basically, is what we're finding. We have to fight them on their own. Or else, the consequences could be dire. The good news is they're both level ones. We only have to defeat three miners all told. So if we can just sort of sneak our way to each of them, then guess what? We should be looking pretty goddamn sweet. Please be a good one. Please, yes, fountain of knowledge. All right, so let's go and intern here. The most holy grail knight's gonna enter his first combat encounter. And let's see what the miner does. Against a 10 heart having fucking noble. This should be pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and cast Absolution here to make sure that, uh. Huh, I'm surprised we didn't actually deal. Or, or did we deal the Retribution? Because our attack was only two. Our attack was only one. He hit himself for one. And our Retribution hit him for one, too. Okay, good. Good. I was just making sure that that was actually working as it was supposed to. Uh, let's go ahead and use Divine Hammer. Our retribution's gonna hit him right back. There it goes. That feels pretty good. And ow, this pummel's gonna hurt. Let's go ahead and use uh, flat flagellate. Ah, I totally just remembered that the flagellate is a really good one to be able to heal up after triggering an extra heart to get that retribution damage back. So Noble has won its fir uh, his first encounter. Yeah, yes it is. Uh, yes it is, Noble. And you have your first choice, my friend. We have the wooden stool, which will give you stupidity, repel, and bash. We have the newspaper hat, which will give you wise and a stupidity card. And then we have the demon claw, which will give you slice and also dice. And also the ability to make julienne fries out of your enemies. So what shall you choose, Noble? Because as we've said before, the choices are yours and yours alone. Good luck. Yes, indeed. You did not die in the first encounter, so call that a victory already. And he's gonna take the Demon Claw. A most wise selection for a most holy grail knight. The first of the miners is defeated. And so now I'm actually gonna go ahead and, um, uh, bibbity walls. Will this be another good fountain? Can we get that lucky? No, of course not. But what we can get lucky enough to do is to do that. And then let's actually go ahead and, uh, no, we don't wanna put a miner here because then he'll be a seven heart miner thanks to uh, that leader capability. Cool, so we got the uh, Knowledge Shrine there, which means our starting hand size will be increased by two for the next fight. Uh, we're gonna lay out another gold, another gold, and put a miner on it. If we liked it, then we put a miner on it. And we're gonna take that shit. Wait, don't take any miners anywhere. That sounded really wrong. Like everything you can, everything I've said tonight can just be taken horribly out of context. Uh, and the good news is he's already doing pummel, so our retribution will be activated. And we shall heal back two of those hearts that he just did to us. Uh, we'll go ahead and use 
flag, fla flagellate again to trigger that retribution damage. And I will heal it back up. Don't mind me. Uh, recharge is coming in, which will unfortunately be blocked. So let's go ahead. Uh, shit. I don't really have anything that can stop him from doing that, unfortunately. Uh, and I don't have anything strong enough to get around it either. So I'm just going to use the Divine Hammer for now. He's still going to heal back the two and we unfortunately get blocked. In comes the Thrash. And I'm thinking that I kind of just want to deal two back in return. Because that's going to be a nice hearty three, taking him down to one heart again. And I'm feeling, once again, much better about the way this battle is going. Let's go ahead and use Divine Strike, which will actually have two now. And the Miner is dead. The Miner is very, very, very fucking dead. Uh, I don't, I don't know that Dice was unblockable. I think Dice actually just has bonus damage if it's against an unblockable attack. But I could be wrong there. Either way, he still died. Either way, you have a choice to make. And either way, we're looking at the Leatherbound Tome, which will give you some magic damage. The Newspaper Hat, which we already know. And also, the very amazing Spyglass. So, Noble, which shall you choose? The choices are yours and yours alone. Good luck. I believe in you. I believe in you, Noble. I know you will make the right decision. Your right decision. The Spyglass gives you ranged. Which means all of your physical attacks become quick. And you get an additional plus one damage if that attack was already quick. Much like the fleet footed, the swift, and the interrupt that we found already. And Noble wants the spyglass. You got it. I think with all the physical damage that you deal and the fact that we're not really going to be dealing with very many like high level enemies. The, the spyglass is definitely 100% the way to go. 100% the way to go suddenly all of your damage becomes quick and all the shit that they actually try and hit you with becomes immaterial absolution is going to go second because it's not a physical attack but it does two magic damage instead of one uh let's go ahead uh that divine hammer is going to be blocked fuck it we'll get flag flagellate to actually trigger the retribution damage aha so here's where the power of dice comes in handy because it's going to become ranged to deal three because it's also versus an unblockable attack. So that was actually one of the better decisions we could have made. Uh, let's go and use Divine Hammer, which will be quick and unfortunately get blocked. He's going to heal for two. And I almost don't care. I almost don't care. Uh, he's going to heal for one and deal four damage there. But we're going to go ahead and hit Fervor first. Take some of that damage and then deal some right back. Yeah, buddy. That's how you deal with that shit. Good job, Noble. Victory is yours. You are the most holy knight. The righteously right. And that is the achievement that we just got for winning a battle with the most holy grail knight. Good job. Uh, I have seen it. I have seen it. I just kind of was paying attention to other things. I love Helsing Bridge. I love the original Helsing, but Helsing Bridge is so much better. Uh, and Noble, you now start with nature uh, with the Naturist, which gives you growth one at the beginning of each uh, turn. So Noble, you actually made it through one as the most Holy Grail Knight. As it turns out, once you get a fucking higher tier, uh, totally overbuffed character, the game becomes a lot easier. <laughs> Who would have thunk? And so we shall continue exploring. Who shall we use next to continue down to the troll attack? The miners have now set a troll upon us. So who would like to step up next to be able to take down the mighty, mighty trolls? Uh, we have Reigns as the Barbarian. We have Queen as the Troubadour, but I think she's gone, unfortunately. The Most Holy Grail Knight needs a little bit of a cooldown. Scorch, you can go back in as a bruiser. Uh, Milt is gone, unfortunately. Freaks, I don't think, is still here. God, everybody's leaving me. Everybody's leaving me, and nobody's able to control their characters. And also... You can have uh, Huntsman as the Ranger go in and try his luck. Okay. 
Reigns? Reigns said it first. So I we, we will try with Reigns. Let's get Reigns into the Barbarian skin, unless there's something else that you would like to try. Uh, Reigns, oh. Oh, okay. Awer is still here, but unfortunately his internet is suffering. So, uh, yeah. Reigns, uh, I will go ahead and give you your choice from the ones of people that, uh, are not here. So we have the Alchemist is available to you. Hey, Cinemari. Um, we have the Drunken Sailor that is available. And then, of course, the, the Barbarian that you already are. We also have the Apprentice, uh, the Troubadour. And that is it. So, is there another one that you would like to have other than the Barbarian? As you've seen, that Barbarian is a little bit of a double-edged sword, no pun intended. So, if you would like a different class, then by all means. <laughs> Lazy-ass freaking ranger. Never wants to do anything. He just sits there with his pet all day, sharpening his arrows for a time that he knows will eventually come. Okay, absolutely, Reigns, you got it. The Apprentice it is. Uh, it is right here. Sorry, Fade, you are no longer the Apprentice. Reigns is. Ah, there you are, Freak. Sorry you weren't here. Uh, I didn't see you in the uh, chat listing when we were going through. Um, don't worry, we'll get you on there. And now that Cinemari is in here, we'll have to rotate her in too. So let me go ahead and put Cinemari. And then Freaks. And then if we have time, then Zombie will go ahead and round it out at the end. Does that sound good? Does that sound good? Oh, okay. Cinemari doesn't want to play. She's just watchy watching. So at this point, we're looking at Freaks and Zombie. Uh, and. We're going to start out with Reigns the Apprentice going in. All right. The miners have set a troll on us. Will the Apprentice be enough to take it down? Let's find out. Oh, boy. Is it going to be another running mission? I think it's going to be another running mission. It is. And I'll bet you more than anything... We're only going to have level one people in our way. I'll bet you so hard that we're only going to have these squishies to be able to deal with and level up off of. And it's going to be nearly impossible to do that. What is brittle? Oh, taking four damage in a turn. Yeah, we definitely can't do that with the apprentice right now. This is going to be tough. Of course, zombie, of course. And I appreciate you guys being very generous with your turns. Let's go ahead and start off with a Fire Blast here to deal back some of the damage that he's hitting us hard with to start with. Fuck! Why do I get the feeling this is not going to go well for the Apprentice? Man! And he's going to just beat it on out of here. That's basically all there is to that. Unfortunately, the Apprentice just didn't have the early damage dealing necessary to be able to fucking... Oh, my God. We always know they ouch. Have no chance, especially when they wet their pants. Double ouch. In the end, they One battle. Survive. One battle in, in the troll attack, and it wasn't even with the troll. <sighs> I'm sorry, Reigns. It's okay. We're going to be going through a lot of these, I imagine, as we go through some of these uh, level three... Uh, 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 dungeons because they're really goddamn difficult. Seriously, we're in in-game content now, so it wouldn't surprise me if basically at this point tier 2 and tier 3s are the other ones that are going to be really viable. So we shall see. Alright, Freaks, you're up, my friend, and I'm actually going to go ahead and give you the... Uh, so it's a 6 heart miner that has fury and leader, or an 8 heart miner that has brittle and leader. But as it stands right now, I don't know that even the Alchemist can deal four damage in one attack. So, I think I'm going to go with the Miner. You're welcome, Reigns. Don't you worry. As per usual, we'll get the rotation going again and everybody's going to have all the turns. Trust me. More than enough blood for the Blood God gets around. Uh, and so, 
with the crush one that we have here the flodges tonic and also the battle scars that we have plus one to all healing hopefully we'll be a little bit better off this time but i'm not counting on that the miner's gonna deal three we're gonna deal three and he's gonna try and recharge but the good news is we're gonna actually heal up exactly as much as he heals thanks to that blessed ability and freaks is looking less than a little bit worse for wear okay uh it's unblockable so the only thing that we can really do is use the flask of lightning here to go ahead and deal some damage and now we're down to four we can block one deal one back god uh yeah i had a feeling that was coming that is more death that is even more goddamn death wow even after all that that was more death another hero dead at last the future that level one fury the is the worst selfish pride. holy shit I might just go ahead and give you the eight heart attack person because then his attacks won't hurt as bad for fuck's sake I mean damn that was just brutal uh, I believe there are zombie let me check I'm pretty sure we have a new new mime yes we certainly do I gave it to Harwood at the moment but Let's go ahead and give it back to you. Zombie, you want the mime? I'm saying let's give her the mime. Let's do it. Jeez, and Pete's. Okay, I'm going to go one last time, and I'm going to try swapping up which one I actually make you fight. See if that actually works a little bit better. I would write... I, I, I almost... I almost want to think that dealing with the eight brittle leader would be better than the six fury leader okay let's do this <sighs> he starts off with thrash let's clone the enemy's next card because it's probably going to be something that hurts really bad yep there's a pummel um he's gonna deal three we're gonna deal three I just don't even I just don't even okay let's go ahead and hit him with stage presence which can make him discard his next card um, fuck it at least we can block some of it Christ let's go ahead and use imaginary box and we're still gonna get hit for one and he's gonna draw a whole new slew of things that's gonna kill us immediately like once again, zombie's fucking dead, and there's nothing that we could have done about that. Even if the imaginary cannon went off, he was still gonna have one heart left. Like, a tender thing is a hero's life: a spear, a sword, a rusty knife, a dungeoneer's life. Now that's to be had. We thought the pirate sections were bad. At least in the pirate sections, we were able to live more than one fucking round. <laughs> Holy crap! Ah. <sighs> So, <laughs> in what I thought was supposed to be the rest of the night's runs, we've actually run through all, like, 14 of the people that we had lined up. So, who's next? Who wants to go next? Who's next? Who's next? Who wants to go next? Huntsman, do you want to give your shot at uh, one of these Pirate Cove places? Because everybody's just dying. And I don't... I, at this point, I almost don't want to risk you, too. <laughs> God, so much blood. Ha! <laughs> Basically, everybody's throwing Huntsman under the bus now. All right, let's go exploring with Huntsman. Uh, I'm actually going to... Gosh. I'm going to let you choose, Huntsman. Do you want the troll attack? Do you want the waterfall? 
Or do you want to try the new stage? All hands on dock. Sounds like my kind of Saturday night, if you know what I mean. And we can find out what they're hiding at Copper Pot Dock. So I'll leave that choice up to you. Where do you want to go? Uh, in Cinemari, I think the cat's downstairs. It's a tie between Waterfall Bay and Mind Troll as to which one has killed the most so far tonight. If I had to guess. They've both done a pretty fucking good job at, at railroading us pretty hard. I mean, beating the troll attack one would finish out a quest line, which could give us some really hearty gold. So once again, Huntsman, you can be the man who brings home all the treasure. As does the, as the Huntsman does. Okay, you got it, my friend. The troll attack. Oh, this is, this is, this is not going to be pretty. Or it might be not pretty for them. I don't really know. Okay. So, at first glance, I'm thinking that the best thing to do would be to take the six hit uh, Fury guy here because we have innate quickness. Uh, let's go ahead and put a two room gap in between us. Love it, love it, love it. Huntsman, your first victim, my friend. Oh, he's starting out with a recharge and let's go ahead and burn the stupidity. Oh, right. I totally forgot. Because of your battle scars, stupidities aren't a burn anymore. They're actually a really great card. Shit. Okay, so let's camouflage here and store up a physical. He's going to hit hard with a thrash, but that's fine. We're going to hit even harder and even faster with a steelhead arrow. Making this a very even fight all of a sudden. Um. Oh, no. Ugh. <sighs> He's going to hit for three, and then we're down to one health, and he's using Pummel. Like, there's, there's, that's so much fucking immediate damage. Like, I just don't even, I just don't even know what the fuck to do. I really thought this was going to be an easier fight. But fuck off it wasn't. That's... That's surprising. Okay. Alright. Alright. I've got a solution for this. I've got a solution for this. And its name is the Most Holy Grail Knight. Where the fuck are you? Where the fuck are you, Most Holy Grail Knight? You're going in next. I'm done playing around. Noble, you're up. Most Holy Grail Knight against the troll attack. I'm, I, I have to have this. I have to have this. If I'm going to lose my best character, there's no fucking way in hell that I'm going to let that troll live any longer. Okay? I'm going to lay down a corridor here, which should give us a couple of options on where to go, where to go next. And lay down something in the middle of the, of the troll. Oh, God. Basi I mean, really, we just have to beat this first fucking fight. Like, seriously, we can just beat one fight. And let's use Divine Hammer to gain back a little bit of health here. Oh, my God. I don't know that I can handle until dawn. I'm not going to lie to you, Cinemari. I would totally do it, and it would be great. I just don't know that I can handle it. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and use Absolution, which will heal us back a little bit and deal some magic damage. You know, I, I mean, honestly, this is probably the only way that we could have actually beaten this. Because there goes the Miner. The Miner's fucking dead. All because of the fact that the Most Holy Grail Knight is completely overpowered and is able to heal himself basically every step that he has. 
Uh, also, unfortunately, I don't... Did... Did... Un, does... Did they ever release Until Dawn on PC? I don't remember. I don't remember. Did they? Okay. I mean, the bad news is I already know kind of how to play it. Like, I already know, I already know how it ends. So, like, I don't know how good that would be. But I would like to find a game like that, maybe, that we could play together. That would be really fun. So, maybe... You know what? We are going to play some David Cage games once uh, Beyond Human... Detroit Beyond Human comes out. So, I mean, that could be fun. We could play another David Cage game uh, to kind of prepare for that craziness. Okay, so Noble, I'm sorry, I haven't been showing you your choices. I've been thinking about other games. Uh, you have the Arcane Wand, which would give you Restore and Mind Strike. Now, Restore falls perfectly in line with your abilities already, so that's not bad. You have the Demon Claw, which gives you Slice and Dice, and then the Pigeon Nest, which gives you Restore as well. The choices are yours and yours alone. Good luck. Ha. Yeah, Dan. Dan goes in with the chump and it turns out the chump is totally like the, the secret hidden class to actually kill this thing. And Noble wants the wand. You got it, my friend. And the troll is going to smash his way through the miner, which... I mean, the good news is it doesn't actually make him, uh, take, er, like, get any better. Ooh, I actually just noticed that he's mundane. So all of this magic damage that we're doing with the uh, Most Holy Grail Knight will get a boost against him and his 14 fucking health. At half damage, he'll start doing plus one attack, uh, plus one damage to all of his physical attacks. Ah, uh, I hate that fury so much. And there's a brittle over here with the cursed mummy, but we're not near strong enough to be able to take that thing on. Good thing the troll is. And let's go another two ways. Boop. What? Oh, Dan has a frozen Tim. Okay, I gotcha. I was like, where the fuck did the frozen Tim come from? Like, I am now very confused by this. <laughs> And again comes my own healing. You think you got some shit with your recharge abilities. Pfft, you don't even know what healing is, sucker. I'm gonna hit you back so hard. You're gonna no wish that I hit you so hard. Yeah. Take it. Oh, man. This dick is going down. That's right. I said it. With an A at the end. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and use rekindle to go ahead and heal back a little bit. I almost wish that I had used an attack to trigger the retribution, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, he's gonna use a lunge, and I think we're gonna use a fervor to, like I said, go ahead and kick that damage up a notch. And we deal three instead of full uh, two. He's got a lunge, but I got a divine hammer, and we're gonna smash him right in the helmet, right in that stupid fucking miner's helmet of his. Oh my god. <sighs> and so, Noble, you have another choice to make, my friend. We have the Bark Vest, which would give you Tenacious, Refresh, and Stupidity. And then you also have the Brass Knuckles, which would give you Bash and also Slam. And then the Bandana, no, 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 which gives you Repel and Shift. So, Noble, take your pick, my friend. The choices are yours and yours alone. Good luck. Yeah, I'm thinking the Noble might have found his class of choice. But then, to be fair, I mean, it it's one of the strongest classes in the entire game. It just plain out is. That was so funny. That was one of the things that I made sure that I was able to talk to the developer about. About how they balanced some of the stuff later on in the game. Are you sure, Noble? Are you 100% sure? Okay, you got it. Bark Fest. Tenacious and Refresh. Let's do this thing. <sighs> and so we have a blind worm, which needs a seeing eye dog. You see in the little picture there, that's fucking adorable. 
it's sluggish, which means enemy blocks are twice as effective against it, and it has Night Owl, which means it has minus one health if, if there's stuff surrounding it. Now, the Rotting Corpse has Decay, but it also wanders, and you can smell it from a mile across. Let's go ahead and use that. We're going to put the Blind Worm in the way of the troll, so unfortunately it can't see the, the, the misfortune that is going to befall it. And I think that we'll be able to take on this Rotting Corpse pretty good. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. So he's going to start off with a lunge, but that's okay because we're going to heal that lunge right back. Fuck you. And deal one damage of our own. Uh, now, mm, he's going to hit us for one there. So let's go ahead and use Divine Strike because that means his Decay is going to activate and he's going to take an extra damage. We need to try and get Decay to activate basically as much as possible. Let's go ahead and get Flagellate. Excellent. God, this is suddenly looking like too close of a fight for comfort. We'll deal two back and heal one and decay. Awesome. And he's going to try and beat my ass. But the good news is we'll go and activate Fervor, which does Retribution. And the two damage still sneaks through, motherfucker. So that rotting corpse goes back into the dirt. And Noble is victorious. Good job. So, Noble, which would you like to choose, my friend? We have the Daisy Chain, which would give you one heart and that fucking rejuvenate, though. And then we have the Eye Patch, which would give you Shift and Interrupt, as we found to be very useful later on. And then the Club, which would replace your Mind Strike with Bash. So, what shall you choose, my friend? The Daisy Chain, the Eye Patch, or the Club? Now, you don't have a headpiece any, uh, yet, so one of these two would probably be your best choice. But that's just me trying to trying to make sense of it all noble wants the eye patch the shift and interrupt abilities are yours my friend and the most holy grail knight proceeds on uh, we need we need some help so we have 11 12 hearts right now with our flogis tonic he has 14, but also mundane. And we're actually starting to have some, some, uh, magic abilities. Bear in mind, at any time, Noble, when we're doing levels like these, you can tell me to turn around and face the malicious beast. But I'm thinking that we should go ahead and use this opportunity. Uh, one, two, three, fuck. I don't know that there's any way other than like putting it right here, which I totally can't, to be able to surround a blind worm with five or more blocks, which would actually hold it off for a little bit. We can do the cursed mummy, although I don't think we ever really do more than more than four damage. Uh, I guess we could. Uh, God, it's either eleven or thirteen. I almost want to take on the cursed mummy. Because then at least it's a level 3 beast and we'll actually get some good loots out of it. So which one do you want to fight, Noble? I'll let you make the choice here. The Cursed Mummy or the Blind Worm? The other one I'm going to put in the way of the troll. Because that's kind of a tough choice. Do we want the good loots or do we want the safe loots? Noble wants the worm. You got it, my friend. The mummy goes in the way of the troll to be chopped up to bits. And let's see what we can get from the blind worm. Which has one heart less than us. But yeah. It, it's going to heal back one heart per damage. So let's go ahead and heal back some too. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, that became absolution there. Interesting. So he's going to hit us with a mind blast. And let's go ahead and restore some of that back too. And deal a little bit of retribution damage right along with it. How's that feel, sucker? Sluggish. Our blocks are twice as effective. So suddenly we're blocking all of that sweeping blast damage, which feels pretty good. Let's go ahead and trigger flagellate, which does retribution. Heals back a little bit and deals some damage. Incoming torrent. Excellent. 
So that's two magic damage going back. We draw another card, and this blind worm is actually looking pretty worse for wear here. Uh, I think I'm going to go and use Divine Hammer to heal back another one, since he's got just stupidity there. And what next? Mind Blast. Mind Blast will activate it automatically. So I'm thinking let's go ahead and do Shift, deal one. We'll take three, deal another one, and draw a card. <laughs> I love how that works out. Let's go ahead and deal Fervor to make Pain trigger Retribution. And the Blind Worm is fucking defeated. Yeah, buddy. You tear that shit in half, and it's going to take like eight months for him to grow back into two more Blind Worms. Oh, that felt good. And so, Noble, you have another choice. All three headpieces here. Uh, you have the Skull Cap, which will give you Repel and Counter. Oh, right. Yeah, you already have the Eye Patch. So, let's see if you want to replace your Eye Patch with anything. The Repel and Counter that you passed up earlier. The Fez, which will give you Wise, Focus, and Arcane Barrage. Not a bad trade-off, honestly. If you're going to trade off something, that's not bad. And then the Spiky Hat, which will give you Slice, Dice, and Repel. That same ability that the Skull Cap gave you. Ugh, that's a tough choice. The Fez or the Spiky Hat? I mean, if you're going to replace the Eye Patch at all, those are two pretty good things to replace it with. I just wish they were the level 3 versions. But you know what? Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. The choices are yours and yours alone. Good luck, Noble. Mm, I don't know which I would choose there. I think because we've been focusing magic damage so much, I would probably end up choosing the Fez, especially since the troll is mundane, but I don't... Okay. That was it. I mean, honestly, that was going to be my choice. That focus is going to help Arcane Barrage be extra powerful. And remember, your Retribution is going to deal two magic damage every time it hits him because of the mundane trait. So, I mean, we're going to be hitting for a fuckload of magic damage just all the time. Just all the time, dude. Okay? Uh, so, now we're at level three. I think we should go ahead and take on a Cursed Mummy just so that we can get those level three loots. And we'll put a rotting corpse in the in the troll's way here. Come on, noble. I believe in a thing called love. It's gonna hit us hard for two. So let's go ahead and hit flagellate so that way we'll make it three. Excellent. Siphon's coming along. Oh, uh, it's gonna heal him for each. Absolution will heal us back at least the damage that he does. Oh, making it an even fight again. Sweeping Blast is going to come in. And I'm thinking that we should Divine Hammer our way around it a little bit. I kind of want to use Focus now to make our next magic damage hurt even worse. And let's go ahead and use Restore. So we're going to hit for two and heal for two. That feels pretty good. And so long as we can kind of keep him at bay like this, I'm thinking we might end up being okay. Especially as long as we keep refresh. In our back pocket, should we ever get magically low due to something horrible like this. Let's go ahead and use Divine Strike. In comes the Retribution damage as well, which means the Cursed Mummy is looking pretty damn sore right about now. We'll use Fervor to make that a Retribution attack, and the Cursed Mummy fucking dies. Yeah, buddy. They unravel right before your very eyes. That's right, motherfucker. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. And Noble, you have another choice to make. Some level three loots. Finally. We have the Mind Staff, which would replace Refresh with Fire Blast. Eh, that kind of sucks. The Padded Vest, which would replace Tenacious Refresh and Stupidity with Cerebrate and Repel. And then the Wolf Pelt, which would replace Tenacious and Stupidity with Plus One Heart and Rejuvenate. Mmm. Those are not that bad. I mean, yes, Tenacious is an incredibly useful ability. But that Rejuvenate, though, and that extra heart, though, I don't know. Like, if you're gonna have to trade something, I feel like getting either Cerebrate or Rejuvenate would be a good thing. Noble wants the Wolf Pelt. You got that, my friend. Let's do it. God, I wish it gave you an offhand. Just one offhand item would've been great. 
Um, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? What are you? 11 health? 13 health? Let's go ahead and try one more level 3 enemy. Just to make sure. Yeah, that's going to feel really good. <clears throat> Let's see if we can't get you an offhand item. Just to complete the set. Because you're now at 14 health. Like, I'm pretty sure that we're strong enough to be able to take him down. And there goes the magic damage around his blocking. God, that's such great magic damage. And the retribution is going to activate. So guess what? That one med magic damage is going to become two. We heal back a heart and the pummel's coming in. God, that pummel. Whatever, doesn't matter. I mean, really, that retribution is coming in so much handy here. Sleeping, bla <coughs> Sleeping blast comes in. But guess what? Divine hammer goes around it. Oh, yeah. And the Earth Elemental starting to crack a little bit. Divine Strike goes through his blocking powers. No Earth is stronger than Noble and his most holy grail of night. The Mind Blast comes through. It's gonna, it's gonna give us the retribution tactic. So I'm thinking let's go ahead and hit for a full three here. And we're sitting rather pretty right about now. Absolution will be able to finish this battle off. And that Earth Elemental crumbles to dust oh yeah baby how do you feeling now noble you feeling pretty good so we've got the wooden shield here which has repel and gives you back tenacious uh i'm pretty sure i know exactly what you're gonna pick before i even look at everything else the wolf pelt will give you an automatic three gold and the masquerade mask will give you holy seal and smite at the cause of wise and arcane barrage so noble what would you like my friend That's what I thought. I knew I could count on you to make the right decision. And so, I have a question for you, Noble. Do you think we're strong enough to be able to take on the troll? We're looking at a nice and solid 14 hearts. We have all four pieces of equipment. And we're tied for damage with him. With an abundance of magic damage coming his way. And also, the Fountain of Heroism. Which means that uh, any... Heroes unblockable attacks gain one magic damage next fight. Oh, that's the fountain of power So the question is noble. Do we take on another fighter? Or do we go ahead and take down the boss? Advance towards it, but try and take down another enemy. Okay. Yeah, I can do that The earth elemental was kind of a pushover. So let's go ahead and do that and He's gonna walk two towards us. We'll walk two towards him and so basically, next round, we'll be able to choose whether to go straight for him or straight away from him. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Let's use Absolution. So that way we can heal back the damage he just did. And now we'll use Fervor to go and trigger that Retribution. Fuck, unfortunately the magic damage gets blocked there, but that's okay. Mind Blast comes in. And, ooh, hello. Guess what we're going to be able to do? An arcane barrage that, thanks to the fountain and the wise, is going to activate that brittle stat and do two more damage. That was like a seven damage dealing attack right there, and that felt fucking great. Uh, let's go ahead and use restore, which I wish was quick, but unfortunately it's not. It's fine. So he's going to heal back two there and come at us with a pummel. That pummel will unfortunately be his undoing because he's going to make us hit two instead of one and fuck you, Earth Elemental. Yay! So Noble gets another battle underneath his belt. We have the Horned Helm that you can choose from, which will replace, place your Fez with Fury and Slice. Fury might not be so bad, but it does require you to get down to half health in order to use it. Then we have the Broken Bottle, which gives you Shift and Slice at the cost of Arcane Barrage. And the Cavalier's Hat, which will give you Slice, Shift, and Interrupt. All at the cost of Focus and Arcane Barrage. So, do you want to take more loots? Do you want to take the gold? What do you want to do, Noble? I know, Noble. This one's a tough choice. I don't envy you. 
the helm would make you sacrifice wise focus and arcane barrage much like the cavalier's hat but it would give you fury and slice and then the broken bottle gives you shift and slice but you just lose arcane barrage the cavalier's hat would give you slice shift and interrupt but you would lose those three same attacks uh, well two attacks and an ability so i don't know i don't know if uh, I don't know if that that fury's worth it to me. Cash for the guild. You got it, my friend. And the trolls coming ever closer. So I leave the choice to you again, Noble. Do we take on the troll or do we lure ourselves away with gold and promises of more monsters? Cuz right now you have an arcane wand, the fez, the offhand shield, and the wolf pelt. Are you feeling froggy enough to take down this troll? I'm thinking you might be. But I'll take your word for it. It's all more blood for the blood god. Reigns, uh, basically we've got Noble kind of set up for the point now where he should be able to take down the troll. And take vengeance for everyone who has died. Okay, we're gonna make him meet us at the gym. Let's do this thing. Come on, troll. Oh, this is gonna be fun. So we're basically tied for health. He's gonna have fury once he gets to a certain point. But guess what, mother clucker? I just don't even care anymore. We're gonna hurt so bad. That is four damage immediately. Venomous bites gonna come in. Guess what? Hit me for retribution. Why are you why are you not hitting me hard? Suck up. Oh, you wanna recharge. You wanna recharge your shit. Guess what? Not gonna happen today, motherfucker. Uh oh, that rejuvenate felt so good. We got back some damage. He took some damage. And guess what? Uh I'm thinking that now we're gonna go ahead and repel all of this spider bite, because I don't like any of that shit. He's gonna try and beat it. But we're gonna arcane barrage all the way around it, and with the additional retribution damage, the troll is defeated. That's how the most holy grail knight deals with a troublesome situation, my friends. That's how it fucking gets done. That's how shit gets done by the most holy grail knight. Pow! Piece of cake. Walk in the park. Holly broke a sweat. So easy, in fact, that your dungeoneer can't possibly expect to get paid, can they? No, certainly not out of that 1,079 gold. There's not enough gold for, to get to pay every single dungeoneer. Really? Come on. I have to maintain upkeep. I gotta feed all these mouths. But good job, though. You get a hearty thumbs up from me. Good job, Noble. And you get a new battle scar. The Hulking Scar. Nice. And we unlock the Mechanical Menace. So good job. Good job, Noble. We have a new ranger. Which, of course, we know who that's gonna be. And we'll have to... Build him back up from scratch, unfortunately. I would say I feel bad, but I only partially do. Expand guild. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, son of a bitch. We can finally unlock some of those epic items. Oh my god, you guys. Epic items are right at our disposal. Uh, do we want the... Let's see here. We have the cleaver. Which will grant fury. The broadsword, which grants ferocious. Winged Fury, which gives you Retribution. The Battle Axe, which is Blade 3 and Crush 2. The Sword of the Sea, which is Blade 2 and Grow 3. And the Cutlass. So those are all really great weapons there. These are a bunch of offhand items. Out of the Ruined All. The Dragon Scale. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, the Seaweed, which gives you Decay, but it gives you Armor and Growth. And then the Ocean Staff, which would give you Blessed. The Ruined Chisel, which gives you a bunch of weapons and head items. The Voodoo Mask. Oh, that's cool. I like the Voodoo Mask. The Coat of Thorns, which get, has another spiky. The Rum Barrel, which is better than the regular barrel, you'll notice. And the Long Coat, which has the show-off trait. Interesting. Oh, motherfucker. And there's a final class. 
As it turns out, there's a final class hidden over here in the loot tables. It's called the Artificer. And the Artificer has the Zapomatic, two unblockable magic damage that heals, the Spico Shield, the Static Field, the Brain Enhanced Serum, Reflecting Ray, one magic damage per damage taken this turn, and the Thought Extractor, two magic damage copy top enemy card to your hand. That's pretty goddamn great. And its trait is inventive, which means it never finds common loot. Holy shit. Now that is a good class right there. I'm going to have to get that at some point. But I think first we're going to take some of these new items here. Oh, uh, gosh. I don't know. I don't know. I think I want the armor more. But I think, the, I think these were better. Oh, I don't know. I think the weapons were better for now. Let's take the weapons and then we'll kind of cycle through all of them as we get 2,000 gold. God, those are so good. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is where we're going to call it an evening for tonight. Thank you all so much for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed yourself. This is it for the Tuesday of Dungeoneering for this week. I want to thank all of my dun uh, chat venturers who are down below and all of those who have fallen before you. Let's take a look at the graveyard. Oh my god, so many chat venturers. There's a casual toast there. I see a couple of weasels. Milts and nobles and zombies and queens and kisties and jennies and jordans and tiamoses littered everywhere. <sighs> so much blood for the blood gods. And so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. You've been watching this on twitch.tv slash Tim Lovewitch. My name is Tim Lovewitch. Join us back here on Thursday. We'll be playing a little bit uh, more Dishonored or Final Fantasy or both, whichever I decide. And in the meantime, yeah, that's about everything.